Okay, so uh, let me begin by recapping uh, what has been done so far. Okay, I have to check my audio. Hello, okay, fine. So audio is working. Okay, so let me begin by recapping uh, what has been done so far. <clears throat> um, so we defined, um, we considered the matrix element if I and defined it through path integral. And uh, we have also called, we have given a new notation to this, which is um, if I, a propagator, uh, it is called a propagator. Or a kernel, and um, we showed that um, psi of xt is defined if you define psi of xt um, by using this propagator, say, um, using the prop 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 propagator and evolving a Schrodinger wave function y t naught. Um, then this satisfies Schrodinger wave function. This is a satis uh, this satisfies Schrodinger equation. <clears throat> and then, um, then we showed that the retarded or causal kernel. Um, is the Green's function for Schrodinger equation. So this is IH bar del del T minus H um, minus IH bar del X comma X. This is the Schrodinger operator acting on the retarded propagator, say X T Y T zero is equal to i h bar delta x minus y delta t minus t zero. So this is Green's function for Schrodinger equation. Where this is the um, causal causal or retarded propagator. And is given by theta t minus t zero times the original propagator. Where theta is the heaviside uh, uh, step function, theta of, um, This is given by so theta is zero for t negative and theta is one for t positive. And uh, derivative of theta is the Dirac delta function. <coughs> Then we discussed um, insertions. Mm. So if you consider a uh, path integral, integral dx i to f, it will be power i by h bar s i f of x. And um, then there's a bunch of uh, x says, x say t1, x t2, and so on, then that's uh, equal to the matrix element of time-ordered product of 
x hat t1, x hat t2, and so on. Um, where well, this time order product uh, can be written as um, as uh, a bunch of theta functions. So it has a it is a sum over um, many terms. Um, uh, so depending on how many uh, time variable is sitting are sitting inside this square bracket. So you consider those many elements. So if there are n times uh, sitting there, there are n elements, and uh, uh, you can take all possible permutations. Um, uh, that means you are changing the order of this n times, and, and there's a specific number of um, such uh, uh, in, in equivalent ordering. You take all the in equivalent ordering, that is the number of total terms that you're going to have, additive terms, and then each term has a structure of a bunch of theta functions multiplying, um, uh, multiplying these um, x's um, and that bunch of theta functions tell you what the ordering is of the n times and depending on that you take uh, the same ordering of x hats multiplying them so for example if you take if you one specific uh, on one specific ordering is t1 t2 t3 up to tn so that term will be theta t1 minus t2 theta t2 minus t3 and so on uh, multiplying x exactly in the same order and so on okay so this is a term where uh, t1 is greater than t2 is greater than t3 and so on then there will be another term for example um, if you flip the ordering of t1 and t2 <clears throat> then <clears throat> so t2 becomes greater than t1 and then so this there will be a term where t2 is greater than t1 greater than t3 and so on and that will be uh, given by t2 minus t1 theta um t1 um minus t3 and so, so t2 and t1 are interchanged um from from this equation that is that interchange is changing the ordering. So, so, so the largest time is T2, so X T2 will be leftmost and then X T1 and so on. And uh, this, this is how you would write all these terms and there will be total of um, permutation N, the number of uh, elements of uh, permutation N. Um, um, so that is the definition of this time ordered product. Uh, when you calculate the path integral in this form, uh, then you are basically calculating this matrix element with the time ordered product. And uh, now this is not all insertions that you consider. There can be other insertions. For example, you could have time derivatives. You could have, you could have coincident limits. So all other insertions. So the this is the speciality of uh, this uh, uh, this in our uh, this um, um, matrix elements, the speciality of these matrix elements or the speciality of these path integrals is that uh, all other matrix elements or all other matrix elements. or all other um, insertions can be obtained by taking time derivatives and coincident limits.
that would be the full set of uh, results that you would like to get for theory. Now, um, another issue, uh, another uh, point we discussed is the um, operator equation of motion. Uh, this holds true uh, within a matrix element as long as any other insertions uh, insertion doesn't coincide. So, so operator equation of motion is something that we discussed. Um, this holds true. as long as no other insertion coincides. And we checked for a particular example of harmonic oscillator For a particular example of harmonic oscillator, we checked uh, the operator equation of motion of X hat and uh, calculated in both the usual Schrodinger way and, uh, and path integral way, and we got agreement. And we show that the results are the same uh, as required by consistency. So the results that we discussed was this. <clears throat> this uh, was shown to be same as time order product d2 dt2 plus omega square. Acting on x hat t then x hat t prime minus i h bar over m delta t minus t prime. And this is zero. As a result, uh, it is the enter. Uh, this expression is given by minus i h bar delta t minus t prime um, if overlap i. And this uh, same uh, calculation was done using path integral, where you calculate d2 dt2 plus omega square acting on dx e to the power i by h bar is x um, x t x t prime. Maybe I should move. Excuse me. And uh, from there, uh, we showed the result uh, explicit calculation. By doing explicit calculation, we showed that this is given by integral dx to be equal i by h bar s x, which is same as uh, this in path integral language. So this is what we did uh, last time. 